All right. Okay, so for the next uh, for the next body part, body groups we're going to hit. We're going to hit chest really quick. Uh, it, it's very important in, in, in my theories to make sure that you're that you are strengthening the entire athlete. So um, a lot of people sort of shy away from the chest, especially when it comes to basketball or uh, leg. You just want to make sure that when you do incorporate, especially upper body, because it can affect the shot. You just want to make sure that you get plenty of stretching in and that you also really incorporate a lot of muscle memory into practices or even into the athlete's free time. A lot of shot repetition, okay? So um, really quick, just going through these. One of the basics everybody knows is a bench press, making sure my hands are just slightly right uh, on the outside of my shoulders. Again, my core is tight. One of the biggest things is to make sure that you're looking at the, the athlete, if you have younger athletes or females, that as they're doing a bench press, you do not want the knee line to be below the hip line. So if you have an extra high bench that pushes their hips above their knees when they're standing, you need to get something to put up underneath their feet or allow them to set their feet on the bench so that they can keep their lower back firmly pressing the mat. My core is tight. I'm just coming straight down. My elbows bend out at a 45 degree angle. Core is strong and I'm driving straight back up. Again, abs are always tight. I come down and I exhale and I push back up. So it's down, down, coming right across the middle of the chest. Next exercise, and of course with the bench you can do that with dumbbells or on the bar. Same thing with the incline press, just hits a little bit more of the upper chest um, into the minor area. Also hits a little bit of the anterior delt on the shoulders. So I'm just coming here, and I got the uh, uh, the uh, dumbbells directly up above me. I'm coming down, getting a good stretch. Core is tight, just kind of like I'm making the letter A. They come out and wide at the base, up and slightly get at the top. I can also turn them, and I can go into a fly. So I'm dropping the elbows a little bit more. Coming up, you get a slight turn at the top, just to try to get a little bit more of engagement in that chest area. Again, with the flies, um, I do want to make sure as I'm coming down, I don't like to get the weight far beyond my elbows. So as I come down, I drop my elbows, the weight still kind of sits on my elbows. Come up, just like you're hugging a big tree. Again, do those, uh, you can do those flat or on the incline. Okay, uh, next one's really quick, especially uh, as you're getting closer and closer to the season. Great exercise uh, for the chest, for the whole upper body, simple push ups. Um, so, on these core is tight. I want to make sure as I'm doing these, hands are up underneath my shoulders, my core is tight, my hips are kind of tucked, but my back is flat. My chest leads me down. You get a lot of people not dropping their chin or they're leading down their hips. Hips stay up. Chest goes down first. Simple push up. You can also do push ups on your med balls to get a little bit more stretch to incorporate more of the muscle fibers. You can drop down to one med ball, hit a little bit more of the inner chest and the tricep. Hands on the side, my core is tied up directly over the top. Chest goes down. I want my elbows to rub my sides all the way down, all the way up. And then the last one we'll do just to give you a little bit of a variation is you can have a box or these, really tough on the upper body, chest area, and the core as well. But these are like box or plate push, push ups across. So I start off on, I'm gonna walk over, drop off, do a push up, come back up on top, walk over, down, back up on top, walk over, and down. Just another variation of a push up chest work that also hits a lot of core.